hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is francisca and in today's video we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a wrap top pattern from a basic bodice block so if you don't know how to draft a basic bodice block by freehand i have a recent video a recent tutorial right on my channel i'm going to link that up on the screen and also in my description box so please go ahead and watch that before coming to continue with the wrap top tutorial and if you already know how to draft a basic bodice block or, you're, or you have a pattern lying around, then let us get right into this tutorial. But before we do that, I just want to make some things clear. For this wrap top pattern, we'll be making modifications to the center front and the neckline. Now, the center front is going to have an extension which will create the wrap around effect. And also for the neckline, we'll be making adjustments to it such that you don't want your neckline to be too open because a V is going to be created at the end of this tutorial around when you wrap around the dress so if you want to see how this is achieved please keep on watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please join the farm by clicking the subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell beside the subscribe button to get notified whenever i post new videos so let us get right into the tutorial so i have my pattern paper i have i just want to show you my tools i have my rulers straight and curved rulers i have my scissors i have my marker pens for this tutorial so what i did now was to place my pattern on the paper ensuring that i tape it down so that i hold it in place so what i'm going to do now is start with the front piece i use um, my uh, seam ripper which has a pointy edge to mark specific points around my darts my waist area my armhole my bust line now for the places where i have allowance i'm not marking the allowances i just want to mark out the um a real pattern or my real measurements as it is now what i'm going to do next is to lift my pattern up and then i'm going to sort of like make those points visible now i did my dart halfway because i'm going to be attaching like a peplum to this um pattern so for the places where I have like um, straight points, I use a straight ruler to join the points. The places where I have um, curved points, I use the curved ruler to join the points. So that is very, very important. And don't forget, I'm actually marking this out minus the seam allowance in case you want to adjust your seam allowance. So you do this. So once I'm done with this, now we're going to go ahead and do the center front extension. Now for the center front extension, I measure my waistline. Now my waistline is 8 inches, which is inclusive of 1 inch that, which means my waistline is 7 inches. Originally, my waist round is 28, so 28 divided by 4, that is 7 inches, so that is correct. So what I'm going to do now is extend my center front line by 7 inches. And once I do that, I join the point with a straight line and then I draw a straight line all the way from the shoulder down to that point. Now, this is if you want to create your wrap dress with this um, pattern, but I'm going to be making adjustments to my shoulder and neckline. By doing that, I extend my center front line all the way up. Now, I'm using a red marker pen for this correction so that you guys can see the difference. And then I draw my shoulder line now. This is actually my original shoulder line minus the shoulder slant. So you can see how it is. What I'm going to do now is make a half inch, add a half inch um, allowance to this. I'll call it allowance and then draw my new um, shoulder line. So this is how my new shoulder line looks like. Before I draw it straight down, I'm just going to mark a one inch, a one and a half inch um all the way up from my waistline area now that one and a half inch is going to sort of like be the casing for my belt so it makes it easier for me to attach my belt and then i draw a new center front line so this is the old center front line which is not what we're going to use and this is the new center front line which you're going to use so i get my curved rulers now i don't want to curve to use a curved ruler that is very curved at the bottom i want to um use something that has like a smooth transition so i'll be using my pattern master for this so i draw a curved line all the way from the top i'll be using a brown marker pen for this all the way from the top and then to the bottom the reason you want your center curved your center front to be curved is so that it rests well on your body it doesn't create pockets so once we're done with this now i'm going to be adding my seam allowances using a green marker pen i add one inch seam allowance on the sides 
and then half an inch at the other places at my armhole at my shoulder slant my neckline and then also at the bottom of this pattern because we are going to be attaching this to a peplum like i said it's a half top um a half wrap top so once i'm done with this now i'm going to cut this piece out and then we're going to label it it is important to um label your pieces in order to ensure that you don't make mistakes maybe when cutting or something so i'm going to label it the front piece and then i'm going to label it two pieces because we're going to be cutting two pieces of this and i also mark that we'll be, cut we'll be cutting mirror images of that so for the back piece i do the same thing i place it on my pattern tip it down mark specific points waistline dart bust area armhole and the rest and the center back sorry so once i'm done with that now i'm going to make those points visible join the straight points where join the straight points with the straight ruler the curved points with the curved ruler and then once i'm done with this i do the same adjustment i did previously using a red marker pen redraw my center back line and my shoulder area and then do an extension by half an inch draw my new shoulder line adjust my neckline by half an inch less because i want my neckline to be sort of closer to my neck use a french curve to curve that label it the center back piece and i mark it on fold you're not going to be cutting mirror images of this sorry you're going to be cutting this on fold it's very very important the back piece is not going to be open at all so once i join my allowances i'm just going to cut this out and that is it for my back piece this is my back piece this is my front piece the next thing i'm going to do now is do the facing so for my facing i need the pieces that i just cut out so i place my front piece on my new pattern and then what i'm going to do is use a ruler to hold it down if you want to use a tape that is fine and i'm going to cut along my center front area so i'm going to follow the curved area because i want my pattern to be curved and i mark the top to ensure that it is the same length and then what i'm going to do now is do the width of this so you can try to go with two inches width you can try to make it more than two inches that is um, up to you so that is what i went with i went with two inches and then i'm just going to join the point all the way down and then once i'm done with that i cut it out and then i make sure to check to ensure that my facing actually corresponds to my neckline area and front so as you can see we're actually getting getting it is actually okay so what i'm going to do now is label it the front facing sorry i forgot to do that i actually did that later in the video but i marked it um by two pieces because we are going to have two pieces in front and we're going to cut mirror images of this or mirror pieces of this so for the back piece now i do the same thing i place my pattern on a new paper i trace out my neckline area after marking the two points from center back to neckline now i also measure it um two inches down so your back piece i'm um, facing should be the same width as your front piece facing and then i join the points remember your back piece is going to be on fold so you have to cut your back facing on fold as well so i mark it on fold and i add half an inch allowance to the other side because we are going to be joining this piece to the front piece so that it flows as just one facing so once i'm done with that now i'm just going to join the allowances po allowances points and then the allowance point and then i cut it out so ensure that you label it the back facing which is what i did now and i did the same thing for the front which i did not do earlier but i said i was going to do this is my back facing this is my front facing and then we're going to go ahead and do the sleeve so i'll be mapping out my sleeve using a marker pen not cutting it out like i did for my facing or my facing so what i did was to mark it all the way down to the side area now i use my seam ripper to mark the edges to ensure that i'm not adding extra when i'm ruling this out so i also mark the points at the bottom as well and then i'm going to draw a straight line to join the points now after joining after joining that straight line it's important to check to see if your pattern is not straight to see if your pattern is straight sorry so if your pattern is straight that is fine if your pattern is not straight make the necessary adjustments 
which I did after drying this out I'm just going to check to ensure that that is fine so I do that at the bottom of my sleeve head or my sleeve cap and I do the same thing at the bottom so this was actually not okay so I added what I needed to add to ensure that both top and bottom were equal and then what I did was now to mark my the length of my sleeve so I'll be going with an elbow length sleeve sort of and then I draw a straight line at the top and then use that as a guide to ensure that from top to elbow length were the same thing once I was done with that now I drew a straight line across and then you add your necessary seam allowance depending on what type of sleeve you're going for so once I'm done with this now I'm just going to cut the sleeve pattern out so after cutting it out, in order to ensure that it was actually okay, I folded it in two. Now I can see like a slight excess at the bottom. I'm just going to trim that out later. So I'm just going to do my elbow elbow round to ensure that it's okay. Draw a straight line and then cut that excess out. So this is my sleeve pattern. These are all my pieces. I'm done with them now. So Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and um, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. So I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.